Hi guys, welcome back to a Bookish Weekend. My name is Brooke and today we're doing the You're Not Good Enough Tag. So I was tagged by Lyra over at Lyra K. Lewis to do this tag, so thank you so much to her. I will link her down below if you want to watch her video and check out her YouTube channel, which I highly recommend that you do. The whole point of this tag is that we have 15 questions which you have to choose two character names and decide which person you would rather have for that question. So I have 30 names in this poo mug here. I'm just gonna shuffle around. I have a bunch of really well-known characters, some less well-known characters, so maybe you'll find a book that you haven't heard of before but you wanna check out through this video. Before I continue, I just wanna apologize if the lighting isn't very good or if you can hear cars outside. I have had to close my blinds and open my window just because it's so hot in England and I I'm already boiling and I just want to get this video done with before I just like get heat stroke. Okay, sorry about that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. But the first question is you only have one sport left on a spelling bee team. Who would you choose to complete your team? So let's just choose two names out of the cup. So we have Eliza from Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. And we have Finch from The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I know Finch is really into books and stuff because he's really obsessed with Alice's grandmother's fairy tales and he likes reading but I feel like Eliza having to write letters to Hamilton all the time she would have to be good at spelling otherwise he might be a bit you know judgmental in a way because and Eliza's meant to be really smart so I think she'd also be very good at spelling this one's quite difficult because I think they're both book smart characters um, but I think I'm going to choose Eliza for this one just because Finch does like reading but I feel like he's more just obsessed with the um, fairy tales whereas Eliza I think has to write her letters to Hamilton using Eliza. So the second question is both characters want to kill you which one would you kill first so that you have a better chance of surviving? So let's just choose two out. I would not win in a fight so I'm hoping I have really docile characters maybe from like contemporaries not fantasies because then I might have a chance of winning but let's just see who I pulled out. So I have Magnus from the Shadowhunter Chronicles, Magnus Bane, who I love. And I have Bet from Tiny Pretty Things, which is a ballet-based story. I mean, it might seem really obvious to choose Magnus because he has magical powers, but Bet is feisty. Like, some of the pranks that she pulls and tricks that she pulls at the ballet academy, like, that girl could be plain evil sometimes. Like, she's not. She's she's grows up a lot in the series, and I do like her, but she can just be plain evil sometimes. That being said, Magnus does have magical powers and he does know how to fight demons and stuff. So I'm probably going to choose to kill Magnus first, although I love him so it kills me to do that. I'm going to kill Magnus first just because then he's out of the way and I have an easier chance of killing Bet. The three is you're on The Bachelor slash Bachelorette and you're down to these two characters. Which one are you going to choose to give your rose to? So I have Percy from the Percy Jackson series, which I've only read the first book to, but I liked it and I will continue to read that series. And I have Phoebe from Freshers. Freshers is this book by Tom Mylene and Lucy Iverson. I'll talk about this a bit more in my wrap up because I just read it, but yeah, just thought I'd mention that because I know this isn't very well known. I feel like me and Percy would get along a lot better, but I feel like Phoebe were too different because, I don't know, she's just not my type of person. I like her as a character and she, I didn't hate her or dislike her or anything, but I definitely think Percy is more my type of person who would definitely gel better than I would with Phoebe, so I'm choosing Percy for that one. Question number four is that you've been chosen for the Hunger Games. Who would most likely volunteer in your place? I've got two names here, so the first one is Simon from Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Don't think you'd do well in the Hunger Games, no offence Simon, I love you, but... And we have... Nomi from, or Nomi, I don't know how you pronounce her name, from Grace and Fury, which comes out this July. I am definitely going to choose Nomi, just because, like, she's so rebellious and fierce and brave and she would do anything to protect her sister, so I feel like if me and her are close, in a way that should be the possibility of volunteering for me for the Hunger Games, I feel like she definitely would. She's very much like Katniss in a way, so definitely choosing Nomi. Number five is you're stranded on an island. Which character would you engage in cannibalism to survive? This is a very weird question. I don't think I'd want to engage in cannibalism either way, but here we go, choosing two characters. So we have Rowan from Dreamland Burning, 
and we have Star from The Hate You Give. Oh, I love both these characters. And they're both quite similar books in the way that they both talk about racism in, my, in the United States, and I love them both. So if you enjoyed The Hate You Give, I highly recommend Dreamland Burning. I think I would choose Rowan, just because then I have Star left with me. And I feel like she's the type of person that might be able to just get on with it and survive. And just help me survive the island, whereas I'd be pretty helpless. I mean, I don't think either of them would be the most help, because I don't think they've ever been on a place where they've had to just survive. But I'm gonna go with Rowan to eat, basically, and start to just be on the island with me and help me out. So, yeah. I don't know. Number six is you're the next DC slash Marvel superhero, with your own TV show of course, who would you choose to be your sidekick? So this is a really fun question. Let's just choose two characters. So we have Will from The Shadowhunter Chronicles, The Infernal Devices, Will Herondale, and we have Serena from Grace and Fury, which again comes out next July, who is Nomi's sister. Oh, I would definitely choose Serena. Yeah, I would choose Serena for this one. I love Will, with all my heart. I mean, I'm more of a gem girl, but I love Will. Doesn't everyone love Will? But Serena, I'm not going to spoil the book for you, but what she goes through and the circumstances that she is put in means that she's very fierce and tough and brave and wants to do the good. So I definitely think I would choose Serena for that one because she'd be a great sidekick. Plus, I think we'd get on get along great. I think we could be the best friends, just like I would be with Nomi, because, you know, those two sisters are like my queens. Um, so yeah, definitely choosing Serena for this one. Sorry, Will, I love him, but Serena. <laughs> okay, so I just have this next question, and I just need to read out to you word perfect, because I find it quite amusing. Number seven is, you're a manager of a avocado admiring company. Who would you choose to fire for lack of communication skills? Okay. That's very specific. We have Monty from The Gentleman's Guide of Vice and Virtue, and we have Bellatrix from the Harry Potter series. Oh, I love both of these characters a lot. I know, I'm really weird, I love Bellatrix, but ooh. I think that'd be Monty. I feel like Bellatrix, as evil as she might be, she's not scared to say anything, so she'd probably speak her mind and just say whatever and would communicate really well, whereas Monty, I feel like, might keep his secrets, keep things to himself sometimes, and yeah. And Tita Fire and Bellatrix will still be working at my avocado admiring company. Number eight is you've just finished a book in which your favourite character dies, and that has happened too many times, way too many times. Which character would you choose to comfort you? Have Eliza... So I just brought out Eliza, and I'm so confused, it's like we've already had Eliza. I didn't say which books these are from, so I just had two Elizas in there because one of them was Eliza and Monsters, one of them was Alex and Eliza. So I, so I was very confused. But we have Eliza from Eliza and Her Monsters, Alex from Alex and Eliza. Oh, Alex! Like I know he's problematic in real life, but if we're going with Alex, I mean, he's problematic in in the play, and he's problematic in the musical and the book. But I love him, you know. But then. I feel like they're both pretty bad. I feel like they're both good on issues. And Eliza, I like, but she just seems a bit too wrapped up in her head. If it was John Lawrence, I would choose John Lawrence. Maybe I could get Alex to comfort me, and then I could be friends with Lawrence, and then I could change him for Lawrence. Maybe. I'm gonna go with Alex from Alex and Eliza. I don't know why, but he seems like the best of the two. Best of the bad lot for comforting. I like both these characters, but for comforting, I feel like they're not great. So I feel like I just rambled my way through that question, but. Number nine is, ugh, oh, it's high school. Who do you think would be part of the popular clique? So we have Charlie from Perks of Being a Wallflower, and we have Charlotte from the Charlotte Holmes series. And again, I don't think any either of these would be in the popular clique. I mean, Charlie definitely wouldn't be. Charlotte maybe could have snuck away in as part of a, like, as part of a mission of some sort um, to try and uncover a mystery. So I'm going to feel like Charlotte is the most likely because there is no way that Charlie would be part of the popular clique. So yeah, I'm going to go with Charlotte Holmes for that one. Number 10 is, the day has finally arrived, you are now officially a year older. 
who would have the nerve to forget your birthday? We have Riel from Furyborn, and then Percy from The Gentleman's Guide of Device and Virtue. Riel, yeah. Percy is too sweet and loving. He would definitely not forget my birthday, whereas Riel is like some powerful queen. There's a lot going on, basically, in her life, so I definitely think Riel would forget my birthday. Number 11 is, you've just found an upcoming booktube star. Who would they most likely be? Oh, I had some good ones for this. I definitely think, like, if I had Eliza or something, then they would have been great for this question. Eliza from Eliza and Monsters, by the way. They would have been great for this question, but we don't have her in here anymore, so let's just see who we have got. So we have Alec from the Cheddar Hunter Chronicles, and we have Luke from Freshers. I'm gonna go with Luke for this one because Luke is a English major, and therefore he probably reads a lot, and so he could have a booktube channel, whereas I don't feel like Alec is the reading type just because he's busy fighting demons all the time you know so i'm just not gonna go for the luke for that one just because he studies english and therefore he probably reads quite a bit and so he has the possibility of having a booktube channel because you need to read to have a booktube channel i think that's kind of obvious in the name next question is sleepover time who would you choose to invite over as you can only invite one person we have ruby from dreamlines burning and we have Gem from the Shadowhunter Chronicles of the Infernal Devices and for this one I am choosing Gem. I love Gem. He would be fun. He would be able to have those deep chats you know you and your friends have after midnight. Whereas Ruby would just be too hyperactive and I'd be wanting to go to sleep and she would just be jumping all over the place, having the time of her life. So I'm definitely choosing Gem. Ruby would just be too much for me to handle and Gem would be... We would gel perfectly. And I just love Gem so... I'm choosing Jim. Number 13 is BAM! You're pregnant. Who's the father slash mother? So this is an interesting question. It's whoever created the style is very imaginative. We have Levi from Fangirl and we have Gigi from Tiny Pretty Things. And I think I'm just gonna have to choose Levi since it's impossible for Gigi to get him pregnant. So yeah, I'm gonna choose Levi for that question. Next question is, we have just written a super important text. Who would see it and not reply? I have Alice from The Hazelwood, and we have Andy from The Unexpected Everything. I think Alice would read it and not reply, just because she's not very nice. I mean, she grows, but at the beginning, she's not great of a character, or at least I didn't like her that much. Whereas Andy, I feel like she's such, she can be a really great friend. If it was an important text, I definitely feel like she wouldn't wait to reply because she would understand that it was important that you needed a reply soon. Whereas Alice, I just don't really think would care that much unless she were like really important to her. Number 15, the final question is, you've just woken up and your mum has been replaced, but by who? So I have Mary from All of This Is True and I have Lyra from To Kill a Kingdom. Ooh. I'm gonna go Lyra, only because she's like, she's a siren, and so she has like magic, so I think the only way it could happen is by Lyra, because she would use like her siren powers or something to drown my mum or something and then replace her, whereas Miri, she's just, she's just normal isn't she, so I don't think she'd be able to, nor would she have the intention to, whereas Lyra is a bit more, a bit more unpredictable, so I am definitely choosing Lyra for that one. So that's it for this tag guys, I will try and find who the original creator was of this tag and I'll link them down below so go, make sure you go check that out. I'm tagging Ali from Miss Lynn Reads, Jay from Jay's Book Castle, Brooke from Brooke Clark and Annie from Annie the Booktuber. I hope they do this tag, so I'll link there down below if you want to check out their channels. They're really great so I do highly recommend that you check them out. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below to make sure that you don't miss out on one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this, I love you all so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!